Ever wondered why one broken bulb turns off a whole string of lights, but others keep glowing? It all comes down to how a circuit is wired. Let's break down the difference between series and parallel circuits with simple visuals. A circuit is a complete path through which electricity flows, but you can check the I button for how electricity actually works. Now, with an easy example, a circuit is like water in a pipe. It needs an unbroken loop to keep flowing. If the loop breaks, the flow stops. Now, let's see how this loop can be connected in two main ways. In a series circuit, components are connected one after another, like links in a chain. Electricity flows through every component in order. Voltage is split across each component, and the current stays the same throughout. If one bulb burns out for any reason, the whole circuit stops working. Simple, but not always practical. In a parallel circuit, components are connected in multiple branches. Each path is independent, and electricity can freely flow through more than one at a time. If one bulb goes out, the others keep shining. Each branch gets full voltage, but the current divides among them. That's why homes are wired in parallel, not series. String lights on a tree? Some are series, some are parallel. Home appliances? All wired in parallel, so your fridge keeps running if the toaster is off. Flashlights? Usually a series. Each type has its strengths, depending on the job. Think of a series circuit like a single road with traffic lights. If one light goes red, traffic stops. A parallel circuit is like a highway with multiple lanes. If one lane is blocked, traffic keeps moving. Different designs, different benefits. Now that you know how circuits work, you'll start noticing them everywhere. Want to dive deeper into the invisible forces around us? Subscribe to Electroscope, where science gets visual.